So my name is Myrna Pierman and I'm the biologist and site services manager here at the Ellis Bird Farm. And the Ellis Bird Farm is a wonderful place. It really is a place and an organization. So it's a non-profit company that was set up to honor the memory of Charlie and Winnie Ellis. And Charlie and Winnie were a farm couple, brother and sister, never married. When they became less able to farm, they wanted to make sure their birds were looked after. And their birds were bluebirds, they had a huge bluebird trail, they fed two tons of sunflower seeds every winter, and they had lots of garden birds around because they planted extensive orchards and put in some wetlands. As fate would have it, Union Carbide was looking for a place to build their ethylene glycol plant. And so they came to Charlie and Winnie and they said, we'd like to buy your farm. And so they bought their farm, on condition that they look after the birds forever. And so that's how Ellis Bird Farm came to be. It's now a full working farm, 640 acres. We have about 400 acres, it's working farm, and the rest is habitat and public space. So we've developed over the last 25 years is this incredible place where 10,000 people from all over the world come to visit every summer. We have school programs, we have day camps, we have family programs. We're setting up the yard and the gardens so that they are demonstration naturescapes. So we are right here by this beautiful water garden, a demonstration water garden, the butterfly gardens, hummingbird gardens. We have the world's largest collection of bluebird boxes. And we have this huge purple martin colony here now with over 50 pairs of purple martins nesting. Charlie and Winnie were ordinary people with extraordinary passions. Winnie was a gardener. She just loved to garden. And so she developed a huge orchard area and beautiful flower gardens for the birds. Charlie put it out, started putting out bird boxes, got one pair of bluebirds the first year, three pair the second, seven pair the third, and every year he put out more boxes and he monitored them. And because of that diligent effort, by the late 1970s, there were more mountain bluebirds nesting on this farm than any other place in the world. If Union Carbide hadn't come along and sat down with Charlie and Winnie and recognized the potential of their farm, and Charlie Winnie and Winnie recognizing the potential of a corporate sponsor, then what would have happened is a neighboring farmer would have bought this land, the bluebird boxes would have been all taken down, the fields made into massive large fields, and that would have been the absolute end of the birds. So it's this little gem, this little oasis, this little amazing place in the middle of central Alberta. And it exists because these two people committed to preserving wildlife were able to sit down with this big company it was Union Carbide to begin with, then Dow Chemical, and it's now Emmy Global Canada Limited. They were able to sit down with the company and go, we want our legacy preserved. And so the company agreed, and so now we have this corporate sponsorship from Emmy Global that enables us to continue each year and deliver these amazing programs and have this beautiful site. And so it's a wonderful living example of agriculture, industry, and wildlife conservation working together. So if you'd like to see this central Alberta oasis, pack up the kids and head on out to the Ellis Bird Farm. There's plenty to do, there's great food to eat at the tea house, and you'll see how two people made a big difference.